responsible. Um, Warren is often hard to get hold of. Oh, I've seen all of them. Oh, you do. All right. <laughs> and Christine can't get a hold of the mule mail. <laughs> so right now, I'm getting a contractor to do some work on his property. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he knows you. He does. All right. Would it be best for me just to get a contact so you can contact him? What would be the best way yeah, to contact him? Yeah, sure. That would be fine. And the last item I wanted to talk about is the transfer station. Um, they have tried to tighten up the people who are using the facility. Mm -hmm. um, it's very awkward and we've had some complaints. They're basically verifying to see if people are West Bath residents. Um, I've had people compliment us on that. I, I don't think, I appreciate what they're trying to do, but I don't think it goes far enough. I think we need to do something like supply them with a property taxpayer list um, instead of people having to produce their own information when they're not aware that they're going to be questioned when they enter the facility. Yeah. Um, I also had a call from Erica asking if other towns were included in our contract, and I assured her that they weren't. Um, they are now telling these other towns that they don't have access to the facility in the way that they've had in the past, which I think is probably good. Yeah, no, that's the whole purpose behind um, that. Yeah, using this that part is good. I think Woolwich just came in and said, you know, we get to use the transfer station, and they accepted it. Um, turns out that's not the case. Well, that, and that's, and there, so they're not, there's a couple of things. One, they're not paying the correct fee, and they're also using our designated time slot for residents only. And so that's, you know, why people were waiting for extended time frames. This is actually divulging what some of the issues were. Right. I just think we need to clarify around everything. They, they keep saying, well, no, this isn't happening. No, that's not happening. I got a call this morning at 3.30. Please come in to the New Meadows. And there's two freaking trucks pulling out of that transfer station. And they mm -hmm. assure us that nobody is up there that early. Yep. Yeah, I'm not understanding that at all. So well, it, it, so I, I received um, a comment from, from Elect Catherine, and they, and they actually appreciate the fact of what we're trying to do and suggested, which we had already talked about, is perhaps getting stickers. Yes, there's for been a lot of cards. support for stickers. Yep. Um, so I think we should... That's something we, we should do. I think we should pursue it. The trouble with taxpayers West is I don't have my husband on my Yeah. There there has to be something that <laughs> right. but you see, can, see right now they're focusing on residents, which I think is a mistake because I would think anyway, I don't know what's been done in the past, but it would seem to me that residents and taxpayers mm -hmm. would be eligible. Yes. Um, they don't consider summer residents residents right mm -hmm. now. Oh, you know, no, there's, some, be. there's some confusion around yep. that. Tax so numbers. in order to Plus. help them do their job better, I think we need to be able to provide them with something Probably in the meantime before we get stickers. Because they have an out-of-state license. That's or what they're looking at. They're looking at the place. And if you have, the taxpayer list is a public record, so that not but again, right. like I said, my husband's name's not right. Yeah, but so we, I think we should, I'm, I so, propose that we order stickers that people get at the town hall, and you can come in and request however many you want. You, if you've got three vehicles, you put it on your three vehicles. You've got, you know, your cars are registered there. This is for the recycling, Susan? Yep. Yeah, but, but like, I don't know if you guys have been there lately, but you have to park about 100 feet away to even put your recyclables in the thing, so I don't know how. Well, because there's, there's been, we've had problems. There's a designated time slot for West Bath, and other communities are coming there, which is creating the backlog for our residents. They're not supposed to be there at that time at all. And they're not supposed to be paying, we get a discounted fee. So they were, they're not paying enough, and they're not there at the right time. So I, I propose that we order stickers. Jerry, what was? What every, time, every, every time I've been there, you can't, I have to walk at least 50 feet to get to the truck to dump my recycle. So I don't think, 
I don't think they'll ever see the stickers, you know, unless they change something. They were, they were, they were, from my, from my understanding, they were actually asking people as they were approaching, where, yes. where do you live? Where do you live? And they were looking at the license plates, which, you know, when people called to complain, we assured them that we, this is something that just began and we're working on it. But they uh, and they understand what we're trying to do. They never said anything about people getting out of their cars and walking in traffic. They said they were just moving the cars along and moving slowly. So this is another whole new issue of people. Yeah, out when of was the last time you were there? Um, probably two weeks ago. But every, yes, time, every, every time we ever go, we, we have to park. Before they making changes. So you have to park your vehicle, pick up your trash, take care of the and we're not the only ones. I mean, every time we've been there, there's three or four people doing the same thing. You know, like nobody drive, it, nobody, because you used to be able to drive in the building, and now there's a truck parked on the outside. You, you drive up. So every time we've ever been, and then everybody goes back around. Like they, they, it's always clogged up, so people have to go back around. But it's part of that, we knew we knew it was clogged. We're trying to figure out who's in the line to yeah. create the backlog. Yeah. Um, which is where this started. Yeah. Um, but I, I think that there's a way to certainly ask that question as to convenience as well as access. So I really think stickers is, is the I do too. Stickers and in the meantime they can have a list. Shouldn't be so awfully difficult to get them all So I think we should order stickers that um, go through December of twenty twenty one. So that because we only have two months now so that anyone who gets it can use it from now till the end of next year. Come in and get them at town hall. And I think we should, I'm all for that. I think we should do it. We could just have different colors for different years. Yeah, but, it, but this one should be a 14 month sticker so that we take it through the end of next year. Mm -hmm. And then the yeah, next year. You don't want to do a two month sticker. No. It doesn't make no. any sense. So, what, what color should we order for our first year <laughs> stickers? Come on. Green. What color is COVID? Probably green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, COVID's the red with the little prongs on it. Um, yeah. Red. I think we should do it red. Should be red. It should be red. All right. Let's, let's go with red. Let's get in a list. So, and then let's find out why people can't just drive their stuff up. I mean, yeah. do, you, do we know in why you don't want to drive into the building? What? No, we're going to ask that. We are going to ask why, that question. Why they pack the trucks in, you can't drive in? Yeah. Because I'm going to get old soon, and I might, you not get years. Be, I might not be able to... I just really struggle with them sitting here and telling us how perfect everything is, and yet when they're not here, we have all these issues. It, it just. And well, then, you know what? Then we're unveiling. And the camera should set. Mm -hmm. So the camera should tell who's leaving there at three thirty in the morning. We're un we're unveiling the issues. They realize that we're paying attention, and we're going to have questions for them. But they're also going to get back to who's up there, and mm -hmm. they haven't done that. And I can't believe first thing this morning, pull out of my driveway. Take a picture with your phone next time. I almost did. I got the. Tried to get the license plate. It was yeah. nine eight dash something. <laughs> what was the name of the site? Again, it was at WM. Waste, Waste management. management. Yep. But there's nobody there until seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, weird. And how do they not know what's going on? They know what's going on. The cameras pick it up. That's going to be a cash payment. <laughs> I'm sure we'll drive this morning, get started early, get home earlier. But at three thirty in the morning, I'm going to be banging on. And the contract says four. Can so one or all of you go to the facility during no our hours and when tell is, me what, what your I, experiences? What are the hours? Um, I, I don't use the contract. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday after, right? Ten yeah, Tuesday. I, have, I have to remind right. myself. Tuesday and Saturday. Hours, but I know it's Saturday. Is it Tuesday at the same time? No, I'll email you. I'll give you no problem driving over. Yeah, because I would like to know what you experience, what you see when you go there. I think so that would be email really helpful. The times. Yeah. We'll go in, 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 in like, cover up. I don't need to cover up. I don't need to get out of where. But I think, so how many stickers should she order? I think that's a Julie, Carly. Yeah, yeah, Julie and Carly will have a much better so idea. We have to, so we have to accommodate our taxpayers that don't have registered vehicles. So you need to add that to the piece because they are entitled to use it. Mm -hmm. Well, Julie, Julie, yeah, Julie, knows. Julie knows all. So, but if that's, just make sure we order enough to accommodate that. And then the stickers are going to be 
I think we could basically figure it on the parcels. Yeah. And residential properties that she gets to yeah. take three stickers on average and, mm -hmm. and add a few extra and color. Yeah. And there was there was some concern that oh why are we paying for the stickers? Casella should pay for them. But I think this could be so beneficial that I wouldn't niggle over. Oh no. Who's paying for the stickers? The cost to print it's, those stickers. I think it's a reasonable expense. And they don't have to be numbered. It's just that it doesn't have to, yeah. we don't have to assign your sticker to you. It just has to be a sticker. So you just mass produce them uh, cost effectively. And town of West Bath trash permit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can come up with a good, good name for it. Anything else? That's it? Well, that was a lot. No wonder you would let me go home. No wonder you would let me go home. Um, Future agenda items. What else would we like to discuss? Um, uh, what the day road meeting is scheduled for November 5th or whatever the date. Yeah, that would be right, November 5th, the first meeting in November. Did we put that on the website? We haven't done that yet. Are we going to? Do you have like a general idea of an agenda, what you want to talk about so I can sort of... I we already had one volunteer for the road committee. I just Johnny think does. it's to um, <laughs> make recommendations. Um, I, I just, again, I'd like to have a diverse group of individuals. Um, the more they know about construction roads would be beneficial. I, I think they would re make recommendations as to what the priorities of the town would be in relation to roads. Um, You know, one of the things someone mentioned to me was, um, yeah, Savino looks good, Savino is great right now, but we should have some kind of maintenance plan for the tree growth or swamp growth or whatever it is down through there. Well, we have a tree, a tree came down over a, the stream that they cleared to make the water flow. We now have a tree down on it. I still see. Yeah, but I'm just saying is that we have all that growth yep. and, and then we wonder why it gets plucked. I don't, I don't know a whole lot about all this stuff, but to have a road commission, I think we could really get ourselves on a schedule and a, a, what do I want to call it, pre-maintenance, so that we're not in crisis all the time. Well, I think the residents will want to know when their road's going to be worked on. Also, when, where are they in queue? We don't do a lot of the maintenance. We do a lot of crisis big budget. <laughs> so is there some maintenance that could be done to protect some of our roads so that we don't have to spend uh, Million dollars. Yep. Dreamer. <laughs> Did you hear that? Three more. It's fun. So just my thought, you know. No, I think this and is really again, good I idea. don't think, you know, John should just come in and say, I want to be. I think that, you know, they need to sign up like Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 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 part of what we should do is figure out what it is that we would like this committee. Mm -hmm. So that do you want to seek volunteers ahead of the meeting, or do you want to wait? I think they should come. If we, have, have, if we have, um, if we have people who are interested, it probably would be a good idea to have them part of the conversation. But I'm just afraid John knows, and other people don't know. So it would be good to put something up so that as many can come. That yes, and we have enough time. It's weeks away, so we should we should invite people to that. I don't want to discourage anybody who may find this something very enjoyable and something they want to be part of. It's rare we had more than three people in the audience. Exactly. <laughs> so maybe this right. will get more people here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it would be a good way for somebody who was new to town to start public service. Got to put your toe in. Maybe someone who has knows of you know worked on the Boston system and knows with some grants and stuff. Who knows? We have some very talented people. Yes. And we don't know. Them. We do not know. Them. We need to help them find their way to public service. Absolutely. That would be a slogan. Find your way to public service. <laughs> Boy, I like it. We can put that up on a banner. Um, is there other other? I, 
be you. you yeah, that'd be public me. comment. Public We're not quite com there yet. We have, is, <laughs> there's Whatever no other right other, so public comment. Okay, so <laughs> I, I have an issue with the Harbor Master. Um, yesterday, my, my boat warning got moved without any without any um, notification to me that it was going to be moved. No, just, like, you know, I went down there and it's moved. Um, and so I called, I called the town of Harpswell and they said they, they, would, they would never move a mooring without notification to the person. Um, and some backstory to this, like I was denied a mooring for quite some time by Joe. When I finally got my mooring put in, he made me move it. I had to pay to move it because it wasn't in its perfect spot. And then somebody shot my mooring last year. And this is all in view of his house. Somebody shot and sucked my mooring last year. All in view of his house. And now he decides one day to move my mooring without asking me, without talking to me. I may be able to control that my mooring gets moved, but I should at least get a notification that it's going to be moved. And so now it's in a different spot. I'd like to know how, how deep the water is there. Do I have enough chain? Like it's, like it's baloney that he can just think he can go and move stuff around without telling people. And then why is the town of West Bath paying to have a bunch of moorings move at Joe's whim? And it, I'll tell you what it boils down to, Joe's buddy got a new boat and it's bigger. And so that's why he's moving everybody's moorings around because Joe's buddy got a bigger boat. And I just think it's wrong, it's are baloney. There other, are there other moorings just being moved? Yep. He moved three of them yesterday. David King, he was paid by the town of West Bath to move three moorings. The Why town is paid him to move that? Yep. Well, I think you're saying because he gets paid by the town. Well, that we paid for him to move. Right. And why? Why would the town do that? I don't well, understand. I haven't seen an invoice for that yet. No, no, no. He gets a salary. Yeah, but there should be a bill to move that. Yeah, who moves moorings? Uh, God, there's a guy named David King. He has a private business to move more. David King moves. Not David King, the attorney. No. I <laughs> think <laughs> David King was <laughs> Did Joe say that the town was paying for it? David King told me the town was paying for it. I haven't seen or heard anything. I just think it's baloney that, like, Joe, Joe's on a little power trip down there with me, and he thinks it's okay just to yank me around like, like nothing and move my stuff around. And I'm done, and I'm done. Like, so now if I go, here's my question for the town. I go hook my boat up there tomorrow, right? So that the, he had a private contractor come in and move my, move my mooring around. Something breaks loose on my mooring tomorrow. I think the town's liable for that, for that. Or if it goes aground because you don't know if there's enough chance. I, I understand. There's a hundred different concerns. reasons. There's a lot of things. That's full, and, and the kicker is, he drives by my, my work site where I'm working two times a day. Never once stopped and tell me what's going on. He, I guarantee he knew for a week he was gonna move those moorings. You can't just call up somebody and have them show up the day you want it done, you know? And he, he's a bully to me down there and I'm done with it. And I will go after the town if that's what I have to do. Like I'm done, like you can't have a, a town employee doing what he's doing. That is inappropriate. Because there's, there's a lot that goes into the chain. I played his whole game last year, the year before when I got my more, and I'm done playing his little games. Like, he, all you had to do is stop and say, I, this is what I want to do. Are you okay with it? Instead, he just does what he wants without telling anybody anything, you know, and, and I'm done with it. And so I would like, from the town, I'd like to know in writing why my morning was moved, in writing, why it was moved. It's baloney. We can investigate. Now, I'm not familiar enough with our ordinance. Um, is this addressed in our ordinance? Well, you typically are assigned a location. I'm not sure how the ordinance reads. Um, I can look that up. I have it in the car to make it. I have to wonder if we're actually going to receive a bill for this or if somebody else right. agreed to pay for it. Right. I don't know. Um, let, let, me check, let me check the ordinance. I have it in my car if you want to get it. Find the book. I'll follow up with Joe. Yeah. Well, it's, it's my understanding that once you place it, it's there. Unless, unless somebody gets a bigger boat, then everybody has to move theirs. But right. that's under, under, because it's, it's so, like, so my neighbor gets a bigger located. boat, so I have to move mine. So the, the, he played this game last year. The neighbor got a bigger boat. Joe wanted me to move my more. 
It's like, I'm not moving mine. Why do I have to move mine? And he backed down last year. And he backed down. Because I said, no, I'm not going to move mine more. So then he just goes and does it this year. You know, all because his buddy, Ted, gets a new boat and wants more space. Just, just man up and come and see me and talk about it instead of just doing stuff behind my back. You know? And we'll check the coordinates. Um, so what would you like done? Do you want to I just want notification. He's going to move my stuff around to let me know what he's doing. Like you can't just go move somebody's stuff around and move it to a different location. Like that's wrong. Do you want, wrong. Do you like, want you, to move back? No, I just want notification of what's going on. He's just a he's been a bully to me down there, and I'm done with it. And like I can deal with him, but I'm not I'm not gonna like because it's not gonna be good. It'd be better just to deal through this this professional way because he's too much of a wimp to say come to me and say this is what's going on. He's a snake and he wants to do things his little way, and I'm done. Okay, we can uh, investigate okay. and figure out what's happening, and um, Christine will get back to you. Okay, thank you. First yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks. Going to be a personality issue. Yeah. yeah. Um, I understand his concern. Well, there's a lot that goes into it. You, when you place your mooring, you depth sound how what, and what your boat draws and everything. So you clear that spot for your own personal. There's a lot more that just plop it there. Yeah. And there's stuff I'm not sure. I'm not sure that ordinance is clear enough. Well, then how should we adjourn? I was going to say one thing. So, what, and then we can adjourn. So, well, I, I have a mooring in, at the basin, and you actually have to put your location on the application. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should start doing as we register these moorings. That's what I'm familiar with, too. So, I think so it would be had to register his. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't Scott takes care of our board. I don't know what's on our application here. You may be GPS now. They are. We GPS. We GPS locate that spot. So that's your reserve spot. So as long as you renew it every year, that's your spot, and that's what it should be. So now we can adjourn. <laughs> I just think we should look at it. Um, I, was that a second? <laughs> a <I'll> second. <laughs> oh, let's go. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but I don't know if there's any sound. I don't know how to shut it off either. I can do it. Did it go off? It probably didn't go off. No, it's probably got a battery, but I did unplug it. Maybe if I close.